what's up everybody so today I'm going to show you how to achieve this gorgeous ruby red color and this bedhead style so if you have not seen the initial review on the hair that I'm using in this video you can click now so what you need to start out with when you're bleaching the hair of course you need your 30 volume developer you need your classic white um, bleach I use one from Clairol and your bowl and your brush and I already went ahead and colored my bundles. Just for reference, um, I had four bundles and one closure, two 18 bundles, one 16 inch bundle, one 14 inch bundle, and one 12 inch closure. Um, I left the bleach on the hair for about 20 to 30 minutes and this is the color that I achieved. I didn't want the color to be too bright. I didn't want it to be more of a golden blonde. I wanted it to have an orange undertone and that's what it has. Um, and while I was bleaching this hair, this hair took the bleach very, very well. It didn't dry out. I know it looks kind of dry right now because I didn't condition it. And you never want to condition your hair before you color it. But um, I definitely love this hair. Um, after I let my hair air dry and, um, you know, everything while that's drying, I am going to mix these colors together. I got the Intense Red from Adore the darkest brown from Clairol and the Bordeaux color from Via Natural. Now I don't know if they still sell these in stores, I've had this one for a little while, but you can find this color anywhere. It's basically like a very brownish wine red. And I'll leave the measurements that I used to mix all these colors together to get my perfect color down below. And I really find that I love this color. Now most of you don't know this about me is that I really feel uncomfortable wearing red colors. It's very weird. Like I can literally step out the house in like turquoise greenish hair. But once you once I wear like a red color, I just get embarrassed. I have no clue why I get so uncomfortable wearing red. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to step outside of my box and I'm going to try this color one more time and I'm very pleased with the color that I got in here. Now, um, when, when you're coloring your hair, just a little tip, you always want to make sure you have at least a bottle and a half of color per bundle, especially if your, your hair is over 16 to 18 inches, you want to make sure you have at least two bottles per bundle. And with this mixture, you will have enough for four bundles and a closure. You'll even have a little bit left over. Now, after you mix your color, you just want to place it on the hair. I don't really have to show that because it's self-explanatory. But you can either use a brush or you can use a squirt bottle, a color bottle, just to squirt the color on there and mix it together. We're not you know, doing anything special, so you really don't have to you know, be very precise with it. So after I wash out the color and I let it dry, that is what I came up with. Now, I had already made my wig and um, I'm trying something out this time. I'm trying a new product. This is the InstaWave Curler from Kiss. This is just a clampless rotating curler. I really like it. It saves me so much time when I'm curling my hair. starting out this does take a little bit of time to master but other than that it's very easy to use so what you want to do um, you want to put your hair in the little clamp in there that's going to you know direct your hair into the curl and iron and you just turn it and that's it it does all the work for you you don't have to flick your wrist you can check your phone you can do like I was doing when I was doing this I was watching the Food Network I was just chilling and just look at how gorgeous that curl is. Um, and I love this iron because it has diamond, um, diamond ceramic plates on there. And that just basically means that you're, it's going to last you a long time. It's a very durable plate. And it's also going to make your hair nice and shiny and nice and beautiful. Which this hair really didn't need because it's already, it already still had its luster and everything. Um, from the bleaching process it didn't dry it out at all but basically I love this curl and iron now this curl and iron has two heat settings it has a low setting and it has a high setting um, it goes up to 420 degrees it also has a automatic shut off switch after two hours it will shut itself off which is good because I'm always good for leaving my curl and irons on and 
be at work and like, oh my God, did I did I turn it off? Am I going to burn the house down? So now this turns off after two hours. And this thing literally will not tangle your hair at all. Like I got some other parts of my hair stuck in there and it didn't tangle at all. So after I'm done curling, it took me 15 minutes to achieve this style. I just brush it out and I'm done. And just look at how messy and how wavy and gorgeous these curls are. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys later.